doing? She's cleaning her udder. She's so weird. Maybe it's the universe saying <laughs> you shouldn't keep any babies this year. <laughs> but Bria is in labor. She's in a kidding pen by herself. She has hay and she has water. I just can't bring myself to leave her without water. Uh, because I don't know how long she'll have. I mean, she lost her ligaments sometimes, sometime after seven. So if she goes throughout the night and she has these babies in the morning, then she will be without water for that time. And what I've noticed is with my girls, they eat hay and then they're super thirsty. I mean, they can drink a lot of water, especially when they're pregnant or when they're feeding their babies. So I'm keeping an eye on her. She's eating and she's upset that she's in the stall. So I don't think she's near, but I'm going to stay up probably till midnight and see how she progresses. Hope is clearly not watching the movie with me. We brought a blanket for both of us. There we go. Hey. Yeah. We should start to take this seriously. I know. But she's chewing the cud and she's just fine. As you see, digging. You finally started and now you're quiet. Okay, I guess we're close to have babies. It's okay. I know. Then 06. I am putting my gloves on. Now then I'm gonna look, okay? You're doing great. Actually, you're doing great. Um I see a bubble. There's a bubble there. You're doing good. Good job, Cielo. Maybe I don't I see two hooves. They're moving. Seem to be front hooves. The head should be right after or in between. You're doing great. I'm gonna let her dilate as she's pushing this first one. I feel tea. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right here. Dude, there's a kid right here. There you go. <laughs> it is not cold or anything, so I'm going to let her clean it, but as you can see, it, that's a big baby. So I'm gonna let her clean him a little bit, and then I'm gonna dry him. <laughs> this is the year of the chamois, isn't it? Clara, what are you doing? Are you okay, Clara? Are you over the babies? Because those were not your babies. Clara is in labor. Well, I think she's not really uh, pushing or doing anything crazy, but she's separating from the herd. So she's going to separate, might as well. As well be in the kidding pen. I know. Hi, baby. She's so obsessed with all this lime. Can you clean your babies then? Like, really? 
Seriously. <laughs> it's a buckling. <gasps> oh no! Brienne, I begged you for a girl, remember? We had this conversation. I begged you for a girl. I said, Briere, I need a little girl. And you were like, yes, 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 I'll give you a little girl. What's up with that? I know. Look at this big baby. Hi, baby. I told you I could feel some teeth, so I knew this was a baby <laughs> buckley. Um, she's about to start pushing. We will see. She has a huge udder. So my guess is she has two bucklings, which would be so sad because I last year she had two bucklings. And if she does have two bucklings this time, I can't keep any. And I want to keep a baby from her. Maybe it's the universe saying <laughs> you shouldn't keep any babies this year. <laughs> you just find them really good pet homes to this little boys. <laughs> she's starting to push again, but until she's really ready and committed. What do you think, little guy? You're not that little. Look at you. Look at you trying to find a teeth. I don't have it though. Oh, sir, I have something in your nose. Now, you're gonna have to there's only a head. Oh, look. Okay, okay. This was weird. Hold on. This little girl. Oh, well, I said little girl. What do I know? Is it a little girl? There you go. Hi, baby boy. I have nothing there. Oh. Okay, let me help you. There you go. I <laughs> lost my tripod. girl. Ah, you are. Hi, little girly. You're so cute, too. Look at you. Well, let me dry you up and get you out of this wet, nasty stuff. I know. I was trying to make you cry. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I broke my tripod just before kidding started. I ordered a new one. So hopefully for the next kiddings. <laughs> but look at that cute little girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. You are a cute little girl. Look at you. Okay, let me see. pretty sure she's done. I'm telling you, this year's predictions with those ultrasounds that apparently were useless. I mean, are we gonna end up with a bunch of kids? Yes, we are. But are they the numbers from the moms that we expected? No. Oh. <laughs> I know. Clara, these are not your babies. You have to push yours out. Your babies are inside your belly right now. I know. It's so sad. Do you want to get up, Briere? Or do you have to push something else out? Did you say hi, little girl? 
Say hi. My name is little girl. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, is that you, mama? Look at this little guy. He's looking for a teat. Look, it's like, mom, do you have a teat? You clean that little boy. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's like, I want to say silver, but she's not. She has a lot of roaming. <laughs> Briere, what are you doing? She's cleaning her udder. She's so weird. You're cleaning it for your babies? Good. I like that. You're such a clean goatee. Do you want to get up, Briere? Hello, little boy. Girl. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Good girl. Good boy. Clara, you gotta push. You gotta push your babies out before you start stealing other babies. Your mom is not interested in getting up. Briere, are you interested in getting up for your babies? Your hope in the background. <laughs> to get out. But... Good mama. Good girl. Oh, she's like, oh, that's a flimsy child. That's a flimsy child. Okay, okay, we're not worrying about that right now, okay? We're gonna worry about this babies drinking milk. <laughs> It's funny because he has like two different colors. Like he has a lighter brown. I <laughs> know, I'm not your mom though. I'm flattered. But I have to remind kids every year that I'm not their mother. Uh, but I saw you. You were right here. Yeah, but I'm not your mom. Although I am going to feed you a bottle. Can you just let them nurse? Okay, there you go. There you go. She's looking for the teeth. It's ginormous and it's right in front of you. Her udder is about to explode. Oh, I know. I know, dude. Clara, I don't know what you want, but it's not cute. It's not cute. You're okay. Come on. You can do this. Okay. Let's see if I can do your dude brother. <laughs> They're slipping and sliding because of the tarp. So I'm gonna put more strong because she made a made a mess that she made out of the straw. Can you move over here like so I can there you go. Some babies take forever to find the teeth for the first time, but they just do. She finally got it. So they both got it. You can see it's on the other side, and she's right here. And she loses it every once in a while, but she's been drinking, and I, that's that's all I can ask for. Oh my goodness. I'm glad that at least we're up to two dolings. <laughs> Out of what? Six, seven, eight kids, two dolings? I mean, that's insane. Find a 
babies. That's a little girl nursing. I mean, the little boy. And that's a little girl <laughs> sleeping. I gave them 10 ml of this colostrum gel because when I tried to get some milk out of Briere, she had some, but not much. Um, her udder is pretty big, but I don't know if it's not coming down. I don't think the babies are nursing enough, so I can't express a lot of milk, but there's, yeah, I mean, just to be safe. I got that colostrum gel. I did 10 mLs for the little girl and 10 mLs for the little boy. And uh, they were very confused because of that smell and taste and everything. There you go. Hey, baby. She was eating just now. She passed the placenta. She ate it. I saw her eat it. And uh, that's a good thing. It helps to get back a lot of the nutrients and stuff she lost during birth, so it's a good thing. 